It's such a joy to be with you today. And the joy will multiply your life in Jesus name. Jesus. This is a special day. A day of miracle. A day of salvation. A day of total transformation. Reproaches will be rolled away. Yokes will be broken. The power of Satan in your life is brought down today. And all those evil powers, they have been very active and they have been alive in your life. Walking here, moving here, pinching here, choking here. This morning they will die. We will celebrate and conduct funeral ceremony for all those evil powers. Then something will happen to you. Your soul will come alive. Your spirit will come alive. Every sickness I command them, go! And they will depart from your life in Jesus' name. Are you going to get your own blessing? Your own miracle? It has come. Alright, what is the person I'm talking about there? It has come in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes for prayer. Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome your power. We welcome the anointing. We welcome your revelation. Lord, I pray today, send forth your mighty power. Destroy the works of the devil. Set your people free. Lord, I pray salvation for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Lord, open the doors and the windows of heaven. Roll reproaches away. And set the captives free. Make this a glorious day for everyone. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. This is a special day. It's a day of divine connection. That's what we're looking at in the word of God. The day of divine connection. You see, it is not who you are that matters. It's the connection you have that matters. You may be the most intelligent person in this community. If you are not well connected to the right person in the right place at the right time, doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter. You may know book. You may know science. You may know everything and know it to the top of the tree. The connection you have matters. You may be strong and you go to one church, two churches, three churches and say, I'm a member there. I'm a member there. I'm telling you. The connection is what's important. It doesn't matter. You may read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Connection matters. That's why I come to talk to you today. On this special day, a day you will never forget. You will remember where you sat. You remember when you raised up your hand. You remember when you made a connection. 
you will remember this day as the day of your miracle. I said you will remember. It's a never to be forgotten day. The day of divine connection. In Mark chapter 5, we read about a woman. This woman had suffered like no other woman. It's in, it's in Mark chapter 5, verse 25. It says, This woman had a peculiar problem, a, perfect, a perplexing problem. It was a problem that separated her and pushed her away from the common people, the good people, and the hygienic people. And she was having a kind of disease that wasn't common. And this peculiar disease separated her from a decent society. And she tried to get rid of the problem. But it's not just ordinary connection. You must be connected to the right person to have the right result. And all the 12 years she labored, all the 12 years she tried, all the 12 years she looked for solution to the problem. And there was no solution. But one day, like today, one day for her, like for you today, wonderful day. I said wonderful day. Wonder of all wonders. There was a divine connection. I congratulate you. That you are here on this special day. Because this is the day of your divine connection. And this glorious day. She made the divine connection. Mark chapter 5. Verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Think about 12 years. A year for every apostle. A year for every tribe of Israel. And as all the apostles were making progress one by one, she was retrogressing, becoming sicker and sicker, becoming more deficient and deficient, and becoming weaker and weaker because there was no solution for, to her problem. And she did all she could. In fact, the record says concerning her, that she had suffered many things from many physicians. They tried to introduce different, different things. They said there's one papa somewhere. Go there, you'll get results. And she took all her resources in her hands. All her money in her hands. She went there. She spent all that she had with many physicians with many helpers with many so-called doctors there were the traditional doctors there were the native doctors there were the, there were the educated scientific doctors some of them he met them in a good building apartment others he went to their shrine he just said, I just want solution. But there was no solution until this particular day when her own day came. And I'm saying, your solution has come. When your day now arrives, your day has come. I said, your day has come. That solution is today. That salvation is today. That healing is today. That deliverance is today. The rolling away of many years of problem, it is today. 
That sin, bad sin there will go. That sickness will go. That infirmity will go. That burden, that sorrow, that shame, it's going today. The day of divine connection. It says in this record that she had spent all that she had and she was nothing better but rather grew worse. First of all, the problem was private. She was the only one that knew about the problem. As she went from place to place, the problem became publicized. So, it was not just a private problem now. It became a public problem. It was not something only known to the inner circle of the people that were close to her. The problem was now known in the outer circle. The people that were outside. Everybody talked about it. Hmm, that woman. That sick woman. A woman of sorrow. A woman of shame. But when the day of divine connection came, all the story changed. I said all the story changed. This is the day to change your story. This is the day to change your destiny. Weeping will come to an end. Laughter will start. Sorrow will come to an end. Joy will start. And sickness will come to an end today. Healing, strength, power will come unto you today in Jesus' name. Sin will come to an end. Covenant with idols will come to an end. That woman just made all the covenants with all the idols. They said this one is not ordinary. It is the spirit of the forefathers behind this one. Yeah, you see that you spent everything. You've gone to the regular scientific hospital. They couldn't do anything. And they said this one, you need a covenant. All the covenants which she made with the messengers and servants of Satan, no one brought result. Covenant of darkness will be destroyed today. I didn't hear you respond to that. All the covenants with the messengers of Satan, today they come to an end in Jesus' name. And then verse 27, when she had heard of Jesus, when she had heard of Jesus, when she had heard of Jesus, something has started. And when you hear of Jesus, Jesus the Savior, Jesus the Healer, Jesus the Deliverer, Jesus our sufficiency Jesus the Lord behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world that taketh away the sickness of the world that taketh away your suffering in the world that taketh away your sorrow in the world look at Jesus the Lamb of God that take the shame of the world away. That day you come to hear of Jesus. The day of divine connection. This is my day. I said this is my day. How about you? This is my day. Let me talk about Jesus now. There are three things we're looking at. Number one. Christ the only savior. That's what this woman discovered. She went here, no solution. She came here, no solution. She touched that, no solution. She bowed down here, no solution. She rolled on the ground there, no solution. She made a covenant over there, no solution. 
And when she came to Jesus, the only savior, the only healer, the only solution, the only sufficiency, everything negative came to an end in her life. Christ, the only savior. He will save you today. I said he will save you today. Remember, the day of divine connection. You know, the salvation never comes except there's a connection. The healing does not come except there's a connection. And all the deliverance will not arrive unless there's divine connection. Christ, the only Savior. Number two, conversion to the Savior. Conversion to the Savior. Uh, what will say conversion to the Savior? That means now I am no more for herbalist so and so. Because this woman that I'm talking about, when she went to this other person, the herbalist will say, now you must make a deal with me, an agreement with me. And to show that you are completely for him, you will bring a fowl. You will bring a goat. You will bring cowries. You will bring beets. You will bring this, you will bring that. And she was with them. Connected with them. But all the connection failed. No healing. No salvation. No joy. No freedom. No deliverance. She was going deeper and deeper into slavery, into bondage with them. And they would even threaten her. If you leave me and you go to another herbalist, go to another traditionalist, I will send evil spirit after you. And so she was in bondage until the day of divine connection. And this is your day. She broke all the connections with all those deceivers. And she came to make this wonderful connection. Permanent connection. A faith connection. With Jesus Christ. That led to her total conversion. Conversion to the Savior. And then healing came. Your healing will come. Not for it, not a, something in the future. It's coming today. I said it's coming today. Number one, Christ, the only Savior. Number two, conversion to the Savior. Number three. Covenant with the Savior. You see, there are many, many people. They don't understand that the same way you were committed to that herbalist, every time going there, your mind was there, your heart was there, your promise was there. And it was like that was like almost your house, your second apartment. Papa, 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 every time. And it, for him, you are living for him. Anything you are going to eat, this is papa's portion. Any fowl you kill, this is papa's portion. Any money you earn, this is papa's portion. It was, you were totally in covenant with him. You break that covenant. You build another covenant. You forsake that covenant. You follow another covenant. You abandon that covenant. You abide in another covenant. You leave that covenant. You cleave to Christ, your only Savior, Lord and Healer. Number one, and this is for you. I said this is for you. Look up here for a moment. 
when if you are coming to this place I am now we have steps over here from the ground to the next level to the next level to the next level it's not going to be easy for us to just jump up and come to the final level I am building the steps for you you put your leg on number one you put your leg on number two you put your leg on number three you are there your miracle will arrive these are steps in the care in the staircase that leads to salvation that leads to healing that leads to your deliverance some people say he is preaching when he finishes preaching and he starts prayer, I will pay attention. It is not just preaching. i building the steps that you will take. One, two, three. That will lead you to the divine connection. Today, you will be connected. I said you will be connected. I see joy coming into your life. I see salvation coming to your soul there. I see healing coming upon you. I see that lame man rising up and walking and jumping and running. It's you there. See, I see that blind man there as we pray and you say one two three when you get to number three those eyes will open you will see bright and clear if we build the staircase and you just know about the staircase look at the staircase appreciate the staircase and never put your legs on the staircase you will never get to that top it is not just knowing it's not just hearing one i know that go beyond no i I do it, I do it, I do it. You will get there. Number one, Christ, the only Savior. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name given under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. That woman did not discover that until after 12 years. She was going about, roaming about. Salvation in this. Salvation in the river. Salvation in the forest, salvation in the valley, salvation in the mountain, salvation in idol, salvation in papa, salvation in the old woman, salvation in religion, salvation in tradition, and she wasted her resources completely. And she learned from experience, there is no salvation in any other. There is no other name under heaven. Under heaven in any village. Under the sun in any city. Under the sun, under heaven in any, com in any community. There is no other name. Give it to us for salvation. That will forgive your sin. That will change your life. That will turn your life around. That will bring a transformation in your life. That will give you a clear conscience. That will make you to know that all your sins are forgiven. There is no other name. Under heaven. Given among men. Whereby we must be saved. And we must be saved. If we are going to be happy. We must be saved. If our guilt is going to go away. We must be saved. If we're going to be free and free indeed, we must be saved. If we're going to get to heaven at last, and there is no other name, there is no other name 
in your village, in your community, in your town, in your tribe, in my tribe, there is no other name given among men, whereby all your sins will be forgiven. The only name is the name of Jesus. Why? Because he was not like any other man. His conception was not like how every other person was conceived. His birth was not like every other one was born. His life was not like any other person lived. His baptism was not like any other baptism. How the heavens opened. And then a dove, the spirit of God came upon him visibly. And the voice of God spoke from heaven. This is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. His miracles like no other person's miracle. In one word he drove all the evil spirits away. His power like no other power. His death on the cross like no other death. He says on the cross, like no other utterance of the cross. His burial, like no other burial. His resurrection, stone rolled away, like no other resurrection. After he rose from the dead, all those 40 day appearances, like no other appearance after being raised from the dead. His ascension to heaven, like no other ascension. His intercession by the throne of God right now, like no other intercession anywhere, anytime, any part of the world. This is the only Savior. And that woman recognized no other power, no other salvation. And there is no other clearance before the Lord. Jesus and Jesus alone. Jesus and Jesus alone. He will be your savior today. I said he will be your savior today. The moment you abandon every other confidence. Now say I come to Christ. He is my savior. I come to Christ. He died for me. I come to Christ. He will be my only Savior. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. 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 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Number two, conversion to the Savior. Conversion to the Savior. Uh, look up here. You know, when people are sick, they want to know on whom can I lean my weary, weak head. When they cannot carry themselves, who will carry me? When they are blind and they want to get somewhere, who will lead me? When they are hungry and they want to get something to eat, who will feed me? When they are thirsty, they need water to drink. Who will give me something to drink? This woman I read about tried to lean her head on his support. All the support gave way. No support was strong enough to hold her weary head. Her mind, her heart was broken. She looked for somebody that would bring comfort. And there was no word, there was no ministration that could bring comfort to her. She had a kind of disease that didn't only really come with suffering, it came with shame. Didn't only really come with suffering and shame, it came with sorrow. 
and she wanted to know who will cleanse me, who will clear me, who will cover me, who will protect me, and give me a decent, respectable name in society. Nobody could do that. She was disappointed. Her heart was broken. Her mind was shattered. Her life was de de devastated. Until the day she heard of Jesus. Jesus the Savior. Jesus the healer. Jesus the miracle worker. Her mind turned. Her heart turned. Her brain turned. And she turned away from all the people she relied on because they had not only disappointed her, they were a disappointment. Her mind turned completely to Christ. Turned completely to his rescue. Turned completely to his power. Complete turning. Complete reliance. Complete dependence. All her weight, she said, there's no other person. I throw all my weight on Christ. She was converted to Christ. Her mind converted to Christ. Her heart converted to Christ. Her decision converted to Christ. Her reliance converted to Christ. Christ my Savior. Christ my Lord. Christ my healer. Christ my sufficiency. Christ my all in all. I forsake all the rest. My mind is only on Christ now. That's why she left everything. She says, I am going to Jesus. He is the one I have confidence in now. Everybody else, everyone else is a disappointment. He is the deliverer. And she came to Christ never to go back to those traditionalists and idol worshippers and deceivers anymore. Conversion to the Savior. That's how the power of God came. If I, Jesus said, somebody touched me. Somebody is putting a faith in me. Somebody is drawing healing virtue out of me. Somebody is relying on me completely without relying on any other false power. She touched Jesus with the faith of total dependence on Christ. And the problems of 12 years went away immediately. That's what will happen to you. I said that's what will happen to you. When you abandon all the idols, I lean on Christ. When you abandon all the tradition, I lean on Christ. When you break all the covenants you had with all those evil personalities, now I lean on Christ. When you abandon all the daily or monthly sacrifices, seasonal sacrifices you used to have performed, you abandon all those sacrifices, now I lean on Christ. Complete conversion to Christ. You say, Lord Jesus, I come. I come away from them. I come after you now. You are my only hope. You are my only savior. You are my only healer. You are my only deliverer. You are my only helper. You are the connection between me and the heavenly father. When you make that total turning and out unto Christ, total conversion unto the Savior, your salvation then will come. 
And this is that day. I said this is that day. For who? For who? For who? Where is he? For who? Where is she? It will be for you today in Jesus name. Number one. Christ the only savior. Number two. Conversion to the savior. Number three. Covenant with the savior. Covenant with the savior. You understand covenant? A covenant is like a promise. A covenant is like submission, surrender. When she went to those herbalists before, she made a covenant. She said, if you can get me out of this shameful disease, I will give you a goat. And the herbalist said, uh uh, it's not after. I want the covenant. Give me the goat now, then I will attend to you. That's why she went to buy goat and gave to him. He wanted a covenant so she could get a cure. And with all that she spent with this herbalist and traditional fellow, no solution. Then she went to another. Because the Bible says she suffered many things with many physicians. Traditionalists. Herbalists. And the other one said, ah, what I want is a fowl. Then she went to buy a fowl. And then she came into covenant again. Another one said, fowl, I have too many of them here. Goats, I have too many of them here. What I want is your blood. And the woman said, I'm losing blood already. Issue of blood for all these many years, not a joke. Uh, if you don't want covenant, then there's no cure. And so the woman said, okay, if that will heal me. And the man took bleach and then cut her. And then blood came out. And the man took blade, cut herself. And then blood also came out. And they rubbed the blood together. And rubbed the wounds together. And put charcoal, something black, and rub it there. As a sign of covenant. But covenant did not bring kill. The woman said, what am I going to do now? I gave goat, no solution. I gave foul, no solution. I gave blood, no solution. Then she heard of Jesus. Jesus is in town. Jesus the Savior. Jesus the Lord. Jesus the healer. He solves all problems. He heals all sicknesses. And when she heard, she said, I come to the final one. I come to the Savior. I come to the healer. What am I going to do? I know I must have to make a covenant. And Jesus is not looking for goat. Jesus is not looking for fowl. Jesus is not looking for your blood. He says, give me your heart. Rely on me. Believe in me. Lean on me. Hold on to me. Embrace me. Stay with me. And you will not go to all those ones anymore. Covenant with the Savior. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. Though friends oppose me, all those friends could not help me. When I was going from traditionalist to herbalist, they couldn't help me. And now I come to Jesus. I'm going to make covenant with him. 
I'm going to have relationship with him. It's going to be my divine connection to the Heavenly Father. Give me your heart. He says I come with all my heart. All to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. I will love him. I will worship him. I will obey him. I will serve him. Jesus and Jesus alone. He will be my Lord. And she came into covenant of the Lord. She was healed. And then the healing was permanent. She got a miracle. And the miracle was permanent. Covenant with the Savior. What does that mean for you now? One. Cut off all other covenants. And come into the covenant with Christ. Cut off. Cut off. Tradition, cut off. Idol, cut off. All the surrender you made to them, cut off. All the promises to make to that gang, cut off. Because now you come to Christ who is going to bring solution to every problem of your life. Number one, cut off all the other covenants and come to Christ. Number two, forsake. 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 You forsake all those other covenants. With all the covenanters. You forsake them. And then you come and you follow Christ. I will follow. I will follow. Personal decision. I will follow. Present decision. I will follow. Permanent perpetual decision. I will follow. You forsake all that covenant, all your kind of a devotion to all those idols and to all those personalities. And you now say, I forsake them. I follow Jesus, my only Savior. Number one, you cut off from them all. You come to Christ. Number two, you forsake all. You follow Christ. Number three, you abandon all of them. All the places you used to go. All the things you used to do. All the agreements you used to have with them. You abandon all those deceivers. You abandon tradition. You abandon the idols. You abandon the sacrifices. You abandon all the bad behaviors. And now you abide in Christ. Abandon them. Abide in Christ. You say Jesus is mine. And I am for Jesus. My heart for Jesus. My soul for Jesus. My life, everything for Jesus. I will love him. I will trust him. I will obey him. And I begin to follow Christ from now. And for the rest of my life, every day, I follow Christ. This will mean for you the day of divine connection. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Are you ready? That you make the divine connection right now. Salvation will come to you. Forgiveness of sin will come to you. Healing will come to you. Deliverance will come to you. The joy of heaven will flood your soul. This will be a special day in your life. It will happen. I said it will happen. What are you there? Will it happen to you? I said will it happen to you? Okay, heads bowed and eyes closed. This is the moment for you. A special moment. A special day. To make this a day of divine connection. As bowed and eyes closed. If this is your covenant you want to make with Christ. 
you abandon every other thing. No other person can save you. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. He is the only Savior. You want to turn all your mind on Christ. Your whole heart on Christ. You want to throw your whole weight on Christ. You want him to take you to heaven when you die. You want him to forgive all your sins right now. You want to turn to him to, to tell him from all your heart. You will raise up your hand wherever you are. I am for Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I confess all my sins to Jesus. Where are you? You raise up your hand. Raise up your hand wherever you are. If you are raising up your hand and you say Christ is mine from this moment. I belong to Christ completely from this moment. I will not go back to any of those things anymore from this moment. And you are raising up your hand. You will stand up. You will stand up. You say, yes, I am for Jesus. My soul. My spirit. My heart. My life. My present. My future. I come to Christ. I will never leave him. You will stand up wherever you are. As you stand up, you close your eyes and you pray. Say, Jesus, I come to you. Jesus, I come to you. Jesus, I come to you. All those other things I depended on before, I forsake them. From today, Jesus and Jesus only. Jesus will be my savior. Jesus will be my Lord. Idol worship never again. Sacrifices never again. All those bad, bad habits never again. Tradition never again. All the evil things committing myself to Satan and messengers of Satan never again. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, my Savior, I believe in you right now. Save me, forgive me, change my life. I give you my heart, I rely on you from today forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these who have indicated they come to make a covenant with Christ the Savior. They come out of their seed to come to make the connection with the Savior. Lord, I pray, forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. I pray the grace to remain steady and faithful and steadfast with you. Not to go back to all those deceivers anymore. Grant them the grace now in Jesus' name. Give them your salvation right now. Give them forgiveness right now. Give them change of life right now. Let there be total, complete conversion. And let the covenant with the Lord, with the Savior, be a definite real thing right now. Break all the old covenants. Destroy all the old covenants. And let them have covenant communion with you from now on. Grant them the joy of your salvation. And the change of life, the proof of salvation. Confirm it in their hearts. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. And everybody said, Amen. Your time of divine connection has come. 
Do you believe? Miracle will come your way. Your healing has arrived. Because any time Christ connects with us, and any time we connect with Christ, healing always takes place. Miracle always happens. Deliverance always comes. And now it's coming to you right there. Give a great amen. You will identify where your sickness is. And you lay one hand on that sickness. You raise up the other hand. And then we pray. And divine connection is made. And then we say amen. When you hear the final amen. The miracle will be there. Blind eyes will open. The lame will rise up and walk. Deaf ears will hear. Dumb tongues will speak out. Miracles will take place everywhere. Are you going to receive? Where are you now? Raise up that hand. And then lay the other hand on yourself. When you hear the final amen check up. Divine connection, wonderful miracle. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name for this day of divine connection. I thank you for everyone here. I pray, Lord, the spectacular will begin to happen now. The supernatural will take place right now. Miracles, signs and wonders, healing and deliverance, to take place now everywhere, in everyone, in Jesus' name. Every power of Satan against your life, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Insanity. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray that that epilepsy will be totally cancelled now. You are free in Jesus' name. That swelling on your body. The goiter, I command the goiter. Come out in Jesus' name. Hunchback or elephantiasis, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Any swelling in your private part there. Ania there. Fibroid there. I command you right now, be removed in Jesus' name. And those who have internal sicknesses, like flowing is your blood, I command that blood dry up right now in Jesus' name. Kidney, livers that have failed, come alive, be healed in Jesus' name. Dry cough, tuberculosis, whatever kind of cough, asthmatic cough, be healed now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Affliction, oppression, walking about in your body, I command that moving object. I command that personality. I command that stronghold. Get out in Jesus' name. Those deaf ears receive the divine touch right now. Deaf ears be opened and begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loose and begin to speak in Jesus' name. I command those blind eyes now. That cataract and those uh, uh, glaucoma uh, effect, I command you. Come out, begin to see clearly with those eyes in Jesus' name. West pain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. A tragic pain on your joints, come out in Jesus' name. Back bench that could not stand straight before, straighten up now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Jesus. 
those who are lame, having stroke, paralyzed, accident victims, I command the touch of the Lord upon your life now. Be healed, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Everywhere I command the miracle power of God to come upon you. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Every mountain of problem I remove right now in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. The hand of the Lord is there. A divine connection has been made. You are healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. I know it is done. There's a confirmation right there. In Jesus' name we pray. You have got it. I said you have got it. I said you have got it. Put those hands together and celebrate your miracle. Celebrate your healing. Celebrate your deliverance. Check up yourself now. And whatever you were not able to do before, rise up and do it. Bend down and do it. Get up and do it. Open those eyes and see what you couldn't see before. Touch that place. The pain is gone. The problem is gone. The healing is there. And when you see Shout praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is our day of rejoicing. 